my presentation was um, about constructing resilience. So I'm interested in how people can respond to change, but actually how they explain that and how they perceive their capacity to respond to change and the stories that they tell about changes. And I want to use that information to inform our understanding of resilience of social ecological systems. I, I work mainly in coastal communities, both in the UK and in East Africa. And I wanted to bring together a lot of that empirical evidence to actually speak to this wider understanding and conceptualization of resilience. So I was using ideas that I've developed as part of a book, which is on resilience, global change and development. And um, I try to extend our current understanding of resilience by bringing these three different concepts um, to bear on it. So I look at resistance, which incorporates power and politics of how people can negotiate change. And I use the idea of rootedness to actually understand how resilience is situated within communities and um, in places. And I use this idea of resourcefulness, which is really about how people can access resources, how they can use assets, and how they can build capacity and agency to change. For example, this idea of rootedness, I think, gives as an opportunity to examine how people construct their identities, not only around their place, but also around you know, their social relationships and their communities. So when we ask people in um, coastal towns in Cornwall in the UK about how they respond to shocks, particularly um, bad storms and flooding, they say, well, the first place that they go, of course, is to their community, their friends, their neighbours for help. And you can see that actually that attachment to place and that attachment to community is expressed as a precursor to how they then are able to employ um, other assets, other um, community cohesion, social capital and so on. But that attachment, that rootedness, seems to actually be of really fundamental importance. And so I'm interested really to explore how that plays out, not just in you know, the towns in Cornwall where I've been working, but also in other areas um, around the world that I work. We know that coastal communities around the world are, are really in the front line of many of the contemporary you know, large-scale global changes, not only climate change, but also globalization and, you know, the rapid urbanization, industrialization, and the expropriation of coastal resources. So coastal communities are vulnerable, and these vulnerabilities are changing rapidly, I think. More people are being put into risky situations and facing new risks as well. So I think that coastal communities are really important places to work on issues of resilience and adaptation and ultimately transformation. I interpreted the conference theme of, of geopolitics really quite broadly because actually I think that we need to look at politics at many different scales. We need to understand how people relate to institutions, not just globally, not just nationally, um, but locally and also how different social relations, different power relationships actually mediate not only people's access to coastal resources and, you know, the different aspects of, of those resources that they can use, but also how they're able to negotiate um, their responses to change and potentially to strategize to face the future. I think the key message that I hope my presentation was able to articulate is that the concept of resilience actually has lots of really useful aspects in it. I think it gives us an insight into change to the sort of 
complexity and the dynamics of change in social ecological systems, but that actually it under-theorizes a lot of the social aspects of that. And, and so I hope that the message from my talk was that we can find ways to basically strengthen those social and the political um, and the relational and human aspects of resilience in you know, really exciting ways and that there's lots of great research that we can do um, as a community of social scientists to um, contribute towards that. I think the Māori conference is quite unique, um, in my experience at least, partly because it provides a forum for predominantly social scientists to come and talk about issues around people in the sea. And I think that's quite unusual for many of us who work in interdisciplinary settings, um, where very often we're in the minority at conferences. You know, uh, I still think it's genuinely interdisciplinary, um, but I think that there's a great sort of group of social sciences and diverse social sciences to sort of discuss these issues. And also I've noticed that I think there's a really vibrant and very lively set of early career researchers here, which again, I think is refreshing for many of us um, that go to other conferences. <laughs>